So here we are for another instalment of Urban Banks. This time I'm down at Northlands Park in Basildon. It's a really, really lovely park lake. Never fished it before, but I have had a walk around a couple of times last week. It can get very busy, there's a good stock of fish in here, and there's one particular area I fancy. The lake's actually broken into two halves. You've got a slightly harder side where the bigger fish are, and then you've got this side, the side closest to us, where there's a bigger head of fish. And due to the fact that it's February, it's absolutely freezing cold and the temperatures will drop below zero tonight, I'm going to stick on the easy side and just try and get a bite or two. Uh, yeah, I'm not too sure what my tactic's going to be yet. I brought some maggots with me, again, great cold water bait, and, and probably flick a few choddies about. Let's see what the next Urban Banks brings. Well, one of eight comments from last night. It really was a productive few hours from about three till seven this morning, about seven, eight. Yeah, hectic sport. Uh, got a couple of others in the net. Gonna get them out and show ya. And uh, yeah, sit down later on and uh, run through my chod rig, which was the downfall of all the fish I had. Cracking little park lake fish on a beautiful February morning. And here's one of the stunning little mirrors from Northlands. Real mixed bag, you never know what you're gonna get. And there's a much nicer one. What a cracking fish. It really was a hectic few hours. Gone a little bit slow now the sun's come up, but I've still got a few hours ahead of me. Catch some more beautiful fish like this. Don't you? you want to touch him? Do you like to touch him? Come on, he won't hurt you. That's it. This one's a common card. That's as soft, isn't it? These are all these special scales. A little bumpy. A little bit bumpy, yeah, when you touch over the different scales. It's a carp. 
Come say hi. Why are you Have a stroke. Good boy! <laughs> Look, it's beautiful! We'll put him back now because he lives in the lake. He's getting all the way back down there. Yeah. That's good, isn't he? Let him go and have a swim now. Thank you. Say thank you. Thank you. Now that's a snag, Urban Bank style. I can't believe I landed all those fish sort of in the early hours of this morning in, and into first light without getting caught on this. Luck really must have been on my side. You know, and then the bailiffs have come down this morning, great bunch of lads on here, really looking after the water and they've removed it. This will probably go off now to the council, get cleaned up uh, and go back to a good home. Brilliant. Then it's 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 it's the little 10 mil chuddy I've been talking about, just nicked in the bottom lip. Like I said, I did start, you know, for the best part of four or five hours playing around with maggots and, and zig rigs and stuff. And then as soon as I flicked out the little chuddy, you know, away it went. I moved over onto a second rod fishing with it. And uh, yeah, it's proved productive ever since. Um, it's only a little one, but you know, the sun's up now. Looks like it's gonna be a glorious day. Even though it's freezing cold last night. And, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to a few more hours fishing. It's getting on for 11 o'clock now. If I manage to land this, it's going to be my 10th fish on a February session from an urban park lake. I can't think of many places I, I could have gone and, and had such prolific action, let alone somewhere on a day ticket in the centre of Basildon. Um, to say I'm enjoying myself is an understatement. Oh, I'm loving it. Like, nice and simple fishing, just choddies flipped over to the back rushes. Um, the fish were definitely there last night. They seem to be holding up there in the daytime. The sun's been hitting it. Um, you know, you've obviously got the radiant, radiance and the warmth coming off those rushes anyway. You know, I think it's a, it's a natural magnet, a natural holding area uh, on a water like this. So yeah, I've just been sort of flicking out about 15, 20 little 10 millers over the top of each choddy. And uh, yeah, in again. In the grand scheme of things, this one don't feel like a bad fish. You know, probably 50% of them have been singles. You know, anything between sort of four to four pounds to 10 pounds. And I've had a few sort of doubles up to about 16 and a half. All in all, just great fun. Another nice common. Loving it. Thank you, Northlands Park. And another nice mid double common. I think now the park's getting busier, certainly quite a lot of people around. Those fish are going to push into 
places that they use for sanctuary and stuff, so I'm gonna go a little bit tighter to the rushes now for the next couple of hours. Probably some a couple of foot off as opposed to the two meters I have been off. been in the water the best part of five minutes four minutes again put sort of 20 little 10 mil ambers over the top it's rattled straight off so 11 fish now i think it's time to try and single out a bigger fish um gonna give the same man a try with a little stick just because it's a bigger bait and hopefully those sorts of smaller single figure fish might struggle to, to get it in their mouths, really. Um, again, I'm gonna clip it up nice and tight to the rushes. So I'm just gonna take a little, little 10 mil pop up. And underneath that, about a 15 mil bottom bait. Nice and simple. Got a blowback rig here with my favorite hook, the twister. Just slide all that down. And just to create some separation between the, the bait and the, the bend of the hook, I'm gonna whack one of these pest off, pest off stops on, which will just lengthen my hair, hair a little bit, and all of that will help aid hooking. Right, so. Very simple, very effective. Due to the nature of the area I'm fishing, um, there's a lot of chod out there, there's a lot of decaying and dead weed and, and rush stems and stuff. So I've got a nice long uh, armor link hook link here. Couple that with the fact that it's critically balanced to my little stick. That'll sink down nice and slowly on top of all the rubbish. And that's fished in conjunction with a weed safety bolt bead. I've got a nice light lead here against so it doesn't penetrate too much into the chod. Uh, and off the back of that I'm fishing with a Klingon leader. Let's get a little stick tied up and clip that over near the back brushes. Try and get a better one. Just gonna take a little pinch of my mix, which mainly consists of sort of crumbed up amber strawberry boilies. Uh, I've got a little bit of salmon fry crumb in there, a little bit of crushed hemp, uh, and a little bit of my favorite ground, ground bait, Roach 3000. Uh, and I've also added a little bit of the, the oil palette and the strawberry oil. It's again, something I'm just mega confident in, especially when the water temperature's nice and cold. So a nice little bag there. Try and overhand knot in it. We'll just tie a second overhand knot behind it, ready for the next time. Cut that off. You know, and this little stick's doing, you know, more than one thing. Firstly, of course, it's putting a, a lovely parcel of food around my hook bait. Uh, and when that breaks down, my snowman will just sit on top of that lovely. Uh, secondly, it's uh, it's masking my hook point. You know, like I said, I'm fishing over some some chod and rubbish out there. The last thing I want to do is my hook point becoming masked where, when the bait's hitting the bottom. And thirdly, it's going to help sort of stri straighten out my rig. You know, as that lead hits the water, I'll feather down the cast uh, with the plan B that this will kick over uh, and sit nicely. Uh, real simple method, and certainly one that catches you a few fish. Hopefully today, one of the better ones. Big old loop in my hook link. I don't, I don't tend to mess about with these link clips and stuff like that, nor even hook link tails. The fact I've got a, a big loop there allows me to easily pass my rig through, and the fact that the braid's doubled up here, it almost creates that boom for me. Uh, plus I've got the big ring swivel there. So a very, very simple yet effective rig. Let's get this one out. Put a little bit of bait around in there. Clearly like a bit of bait today.
What quality little common. Jet black. Very different to the other ones I've caught. You know, and that's what makes faces like this so exciting. You really never know what you're gonna catch next. Well, it's two in the net at once. It really is proven to be a hectic session. That's 13 fish now. Still nothing on the snowman rig, but if this keeps happening, I'm definitely gonna bring in another of the choddy rods and switch that over to the snowman too. You know, there comes a point where you're aspiring and, and now I'm after a 20 pounder. I know there's plenty of them in here, so I'm gonna keep trickling the bait in, up my bait size, and uh, try and get one of those better fish. Another little Northlands Urban Banks carp. Love it. Well, just had the first take on the snowman rig, and although it's no monster, it does seem like a little bit of a better fish, so I think he paid off. with another cracky little comment. It's proving to be a really productive session. Doing it. Well, I've got another couple in the net at the same time. I've got this gorgeous little chestnut brown common and uh, a slightly larger fish. And there you have it, a successful snowman rig. And you can see there that tubing that was right round on the bend of the shank of the hook's been blown right back to that fish sucking and blowing trying to eject the rig. Sadly he couldn't this time, absolutely nailed. I think he's a bit of a character. And number 16, this is a real stunner. Almost fully scaled, right little tree. What an absolute stunner. Love it. Here, mate. Just carefully stand on the wood. That's it, yeah. Right. Put around this hand up here. This hand here. And then this one's going to reel. That's it. Yeah, baby. Like that. There he is. Yeah, baby. 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 Oh, this is 
special food we caught him on. See that? Yeah. That's what we like eating. Is that good? Oh, no! <laughs> Oh, you're funny. Like we only know. Yeah, you're right in a minute. Mummy, got a picture. Come on, Bailey, be a man, be a man. Don't be a puss. Oh, you're funny. Oh, let you feel it, feel him. Do you want to touch him? Not a bit slow. Come on, Bailey. I like fish. Come on, Mia, you're struggling. Come on, Bailey, just touch it. Come on, Bailey, just touch it. Come on, Bailey, Bailey. Bailey, just touch it. Come on, Bailey, just touch it. Come on, Bailey, just touch it. Come on, Bailey, just we release it, kiss it, release it. No. <laughs> On the lips. No. <laughs> right. You coming kiss. in for the picture? Go on, go in. Go on, Flo, Phoenix, get in quick. Go! Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Number 17. Oh. And I've had a bit of help here, haven't I, mate? You know, you've been up. I can't take credit to do, for doing this one all on my own. <laughs> Did he pull hard? Let's see if that one. And here's the other rig I've been using to great effect this session. Uh, it's a chod rig, and I know I've shown you one of these before on, on Urban Banks down at Rochford and stuff. Um, and I'm sure you're all aware of the rig. It, it, it's, can be used to great effect when fishing over choddy and silty bottoms and, and the particular swim I've chosen I've obviously got this big bank of rushes out there lots and lots of dead weed uh, decaying rushes stems etc so I can present a bait lovely over the top of it one thing slightly different I'm doing is uh, I've actually gone down a couple of hook sizes normally I'd use a size 7 twister I've actually gone down to a size 10 and that's because I'm using a much smaller hook bait I'm just using a 10 mil pop-up um, as opposed to normally you know using a 15 or even larger I just think it works wonders at this time of the year. The fish are particularly finicky. They may be waking up over after their winter slumber and stuff. And that smaller bait, it can trick them up. Um, a lot of people come down here, I presume they'd be using 15 mil baits. So again, I'm doing something slightly different to what the fish are used to seeing. Uh, the other thing that's uh, a little bit different to the norm is I'm using a new leader material. I can't praise this stuff enough. It's called Klingon leader. Um, it's basically a, a leader material with no lead core inside, but it's still ultra, ultra heavy. But more importantly, it's ultra supple. So it will follow absolutely every contour I'm fishing over. Yeah, out of the 17 fish I've had, 15 of them have been on, on the Chod rig. It's just a great rig, it's, it's that cast anywhere rig, but if you fish it effectively, keep the bait trickling in over the top, nice spread, you can keep those fish grabbing around and looking for food, and then they come across this, and, and sadly they get nailed every time. Well, I don't know if you can see behind me all this bread that's drifting past. You know, I've said it before about these park lakes, this is the carp's natural diet. Um, even on a day like today in February, there's people coming down here throwing loaf after loaf after loaf in. You know, it's on my chod rigs and my snowman rigs. I've been using the white and the strawberry. Again, it's that sort of colour association with food. I know they go around eating bread and, and I'm giving them that same coloration in the form of a boilie. Well, my 24 hour session over at Northlands Park's coming to an end. This is my 18th fish, and I really am, well, I'm not speechless, but I'm blown away by just the sheer amount of fish I've managed to catch. It really has been a memorable sort of 24 hours. Um, gonna get this one slipped back, and uh, we're gonna head off home now. See you soon.